Hello, absolutely nobody. It's Fat Rap here. Welcome back. Day 86, seven days to die on the PlayStation 4. So I'm back after my little break, a little bit sooner than I thought, which is good. Um, and we're back at our base. So in this episode, what I thought we'd do is we would build a tree farm just outside of my base. Um, it's been kind of on the cards to do for a little while now, but I've just not really not got around to it without the stuff. I'm just going to move my mic, sorry. Um, yeah, so that's what I'm going to do. Um, so what I've got, <clears throat> I've picked up the pine seeds and the, ma uh, the maple seeds that I've been keeping, and I've also got uh, 90 wood plates because I like to make wood farms kind of sensibly. Um, so what I'll do as well, is I've got 1,386 wood, so I'm going to create a few more of these plates, let's say, wood plate. How many can I create? 136, yeah, that, that'll, be, that'll be absolutely fine. So we'll head out. I know it's the middle of the night, but we shouldn't really have any issue with zombies. Um, and if they attack, I'll just kill them. Plain and simple. So we shouldn't really have any issue. Can I get over that zombie? That's ridiculous. I'll pull... I thought I just had one there. I'll just go and tie that body up in case we're in a rush when we come in. There you go. And I will close the outer door when we go out. Yeah, so <coughs> you'll, you'll kind of see why I've picked up wood plates in a second. Now I've got to choose... I'm oh, sorry, my headset's really uncomfortable at the moment. just need to move it around to get it um, comfy. So anyway, I've got to choose a decent enough place for, for us to put it. Now again, can't be too close to the base, otherwise it does cause glitches, and it can't be too far away, otherwise it's kind of pointless building. Um, so I'm thinking, you know, possibly here, where, um, you know, the same location of where we've actually got our... Um, um, forges underground. Now. Now also the thing is, the flatter the ground the better. I need to put my light on. So I'm thinking maybe if uh, it looks a little bit flatter down here. Not necessarily the most important trait to a, my, to, um, a tree farm. But we'll see. So, I'll park next to this funny shaped rock so we know where we are. And I'll shine the, um, the light out to where I think I'm going to start building. Okay, so I'll put the club away. I'll get the plates in, and I'll get the maple ones in at the moment. So, <clears throat> the reason I've got the plates is that trees have got to be four spaces away from each other. So one, two, three. Oh, well done. So, they've got to be four spaces in any direction from each other on the PlayStation 4. I've done this before, so I kind of I know what I'm talking about. So realistically what I need to do is I need to put one here, and you'll see I won't be able to put one uh, down until here. And you can see it, it doesn't allow me to put one down in that in that area. Does it allow me to put one here? It doesn't allow me to put one there. Not possible to place here. Something there anyway. Um, see I can highlight this box. Try and put it down there. Comes up not possible, but then you go four blocks away not possible, and then you go one more block. Oh, come on, I need to take... <laughs> proving me wrong. So I need to put one down here. There. So you can see that that actually is kind of four blocks away from each other. So you've got one... Um, two, three. On the fourth block we've got one. And it's the same on the crossways as well, so we've got one, two, three and then here we should be able to put one four so the reason i've got the wood blocks is because what i like to do is i know it's a little bit weird but people may do this as well is that when i'm planting my trees down <clears throat> i like them to be in a kind of sensible way you know a nice formation and easily manageable so i'm just going to put my wrench away because i don't need my wrench right now and i could do the spare space for my fist to clear away the grass um, so we can go there. Clear the 
Oh, sorry. Put the seat down. So you can see, I suppose you can see my kind of, um, it's a pig going mad somewhere. Um, so you can see what I, I do. Um, four in each direction, start square, and then I build off the back of this. So then we go one, two, three, three. Um, now I'm not sure what the rules are about putting them in other locations, but I'm going to stick to kind of with what I know and what I know works. So, so I'm, I'm trying to put the seeds down. I should be putting blocks down. So there you go. So as you can see, you just kind of you go along this formation, putting your trees down. You don't necessarily have to um, um, uncover the grass when you put the blocks down, but certainly when you put the can't place there because I need one more. And then you go back up, and there you go. So I'm going to continue on doing that. Um, you, you can kind of see the process in it. It does work. Um, and then once, you know, I, I'm not sure how long it takes to grow. I think it might be quite similar to the actual farm. So, you know, after the horde night, it's maybe worthwhile uh, making it part of the routine to come back, you know, come back to the horde night, tidy the farm up, um, re um, replant the wood that we're going to hack down from hacking the trees, uh, replant the uh, replant the seeds for the wood, and then continue on on to the next seven days and do the same again. Because it, what what it basically gives you is um, an unlimited supply in a kind of strange way of wood that you can you can mine every um, every seven days, and it's easier than going <laughs> than, uh, than than driving miles and miles and finding different trees. Um, so you can kind of see it's not. It's not the most interesting thing to do. It's good if you can do it during the night, because it allows you to, um, how many is that, that's three. Kind of allows you to do this rather than anything rough. Having to fight different um, zombies. Okay, here we go. So this is probably going to be the last one. I mean, I could, I could quite easily take that down. Okay, I've done that wrong. Don't know whether I might actually take that down. Listen to the noise. <laughs> when you take down the little saplings, it makes a full, fully fledged tree noise. Right, so we're putting the sapling down here. Now, of course, I've done this, and I'm up to the edge here. And of course, we can actually go out out of the way as well. So we're not we're not restricted to the fact that we can only go in one direction. So we can do this exactly the same out of the way. And that's again why I've created the other. Um, that's why I've got the other wood blocks being created. Um, I'll go back for them now. I've run out, and we, at least we know now we've got a tree farm here, nice and close to our base. And then at some point those trees will grow. Shouldn't take me long to get back there and pick up some more of the wood block. Uh, wood. I mean the wood plates should have finished by now as well. Where did he come from? Hello, zombie. Did he even react? He didn't. He didn't even react to the fact that I just drove past right past his face. Stupid zombie! Right, I'm not going to take my bike in because it it just causes issues getting in and out. Well, not big issues, but you know what I mean. Right, let's go and have a look to see what how many wood things we've got. 100. And that's how many I created, wasn't it? 138. Let's just double check. I haven't got any more in here. We've got the Adobe ones. I'm not going to take them out. Yes, that's absolutely fine. So we'll head up. We'll head on back to our little f um, oncomings of a tree farm. And look, you know, we've only got eight more seeds, and then we've I think we've got some like thirty pine cones. So it's going to be <laughs> it's going to be a substantially decent sized farm anyway. Here he is. Ah. Uh, right, I'm going to have to take him out. Oh, quick draw. <laughs> I love that kind of thing. Never managed to do that on purpose. So where did I plant it? Over next to this funny little rock. Now, obviously, once the trees grow, the um, the farm will become easier to see. Because <laughs> right now, obviously, you can only see the little saplings. Um, 
Right, let's put MMA Richard up. And then let's continue on with the um the fun of laying down a wood farm. Now some people don't some people would never ever do this in the game. Um I suppose the only reason I do it is for easy resource because I'm I'm quite lazy in the way that I can't really be bothered to drive miles and miles and miles for different resources, and especially if we're using so many of them, then there's a chance, you know, each time we use that specific resource, we're going to have to go that little bit further to collect it. And I suppose by doing this, not by doing that, but by doing what we're doing, it stops, um, oh, why can't I put that there? Stop glitching. Um, it stops the requirement for us to, to, to go further afield. We still need to go further afield for um, for mining the decent um, rich mines where you get the potassium and the coal from which we still need to do. But it's just a nice convenient easy resource. So I suppose what I can do now rather than boring you guys with laying down all of these. One, two, three. What I'll do is so I'll just do a I'll I'll do a um a speeded up section if that's the correct word <laughs> phrase one two three four I probably should have um done it another way treat okay that's one too many ah uh, you see this this is this is the problem when I'm trying to concentrate. And my brain's not working. Four. Okay. So I'll, what I'll do is I'll speed the segment up so you guys don't have to actually watch it because it's going to be a little bit boring. Um, so I'm going to put my, my, my mic in the mute position, speed up, and then I'll bring you guys. I'll slow the video back down once we've finished the um, the farm out here. So I'll speed you all very soon. Okay, so we've kind of run out of blocks, but I managed to get down um, <clears throat> all of my maple. Was it maple? All of my maple and a couple of my um, pine cones, I think these are. 
the small stones. Oh, I was hoping about the small stone. Yeah, so some of my pine cones as well. So I do need to um, build a few more blocks. Now, I don't necessarily need to build the blocks, but I do like to build the blocks. So I could just go, you know, one, two, three, four, and lay that down there. Come across this way. But I like to have, strangely, the neat area of blocks to be able to place them in. So that when I come back, all I have to do is knock the knock the trees down and put the blocks, um, put the trees back in the, the 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 holes where I've left the um, left the ground from from the blocks. But we can we can we can do this quickly anyway. Is it going down? Yeah, there you go. And then we can come out again. One, two, three, four. Put down. Put them down. Put them down. I'm hoping that's straight. <laughs> and again, this is why I like to use the blocks because it does keep things easy and straight and manageable. There's a zombie coming across. Oh, there's a little mini horde. I haven't got my club in hand. Oh, I'll have to use my my um, sledgehammer. Yeah, don't you worry. Oh, now you're gonna die in my tree farm. Where are you? It's been a while since I've played this and it feels a little bit weird. No, oh, we're okay. Let's keep going. I don't particularly like the way I'm doing this because it doesn't look like I've got it straight in any kind of way. I might have to take this one down. No. Why can't I hit that as a tree? Okay, I'm going to have to leave it. Yeah, so because I messed that up, it's going to look a bit crap, but I can take it down when it fully grows, then rebuild. So I'm not going to put any more down because that will just happen again. But you can kind of get the idea of what I was going for. Now, what what I'm going to do... Oh, there's some more. Yeah. There's some more zombies, I was going to say. I got, I got distracted by trying to get a headshot. Never really ADS on this. I probably should. Okay, I'll try. I'll see what these guys have got as well. They might have something interesting. Nothing. Feathers. Oh, that gave me a heart attack. I thought I was getting attacked there. It's just the bodies exploding. Was there not another one? This, was it just this one? Yeah, there's one just up behind that rock over there. Scavenging is level. Oh wow, here we go. S um, seven skill points to spend. I p could probably do a few more. But there you go, so you get the idea anyway. So at some point I'm going to have to come back with some more wood plates, lay some down, and do a little bit more tidying once these have grown. Uh, I can chop them down, blah blah blah. So you can get the idea. It's going to it's going to be a decent enough farm. It's going to have a good, a good amount of... Uh, once, you know, once I've got everything down, because what you'll find is that the trees will grow, you'll chop them down, you'll get between one and three uh, pine cones or maple seeds from them, which means then you can use them to uh, replant. So, as I say, it's not an unlimited resource because you've got to grow them, but it is unlimited in the by the way that, you know, if, if you wait, then you'll get unlimited resources from them, which is quite cool. Here's my little um, chill out area. Still not being attacked by the zombies. It's pretty cool in that. I do need to make a bed. In fact, let's do that now. Let's make that the next task in our uh, little mission today. So let's head on back round. I'm going to ditch the stuff I've got in my inventory. I could do with a little bit more wood to make some more plates, but I'm going to I'm going to wait and finish that farm off. I'm just going to leave my bike outside. Um, I'm going to wait and finish the farm off what, uh, with the wood that I get from those trees. Right, so, let's just be sensible here and put them away. Put the soup away. I've got so much, so many canned goods. I've got so much food here. Um, if this was a real post apocalyptic world, I think I'd be quite well. <laughs> you know, I'd be well off right now. Um, no, no, no. Bones, fat, stinky sandwich, dirt, feathers. No, none of that goes in there. None of that goes in there. I can't remember where any of the boxes are. <laughs> it's what happens when you take a break from playing your game. 
Oh, come on. You lose all coordination as well. That's not where the stone is. There's water. Stone. Okay. Stone can go in here. This is a bit of a messy hatch. This is a really messy um, box. Especially for me. Okay. I think that there must there must be um I must have fibre around here somewhere. There you go, fibre there. Let's chuck the feathers in there for the time being. Um right, so we're looking at a bed, aren't we? Let's so let's have a look what kind of beds we can make for our little chill out area. We need a bed. It'll look cool. Come on. Bed. Uh so what what do we want? King size double bed, obviously. Wow. 40 cloth, 40 cotton, 20 springs, 20 wood. I've got 25, which is good. And 10 short pipes. So 40, 40, 20. I can't remember. Um, right, so we've got loads of cloth anyway, so we're not, we're not really struggling with that. Um... 40, okay. 40 cloth. Was it 20 springs? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Oh wow, we're, we're quite sure on these things. Right, let's put one down. And do we have that much cotton? Where's the Where is the actual cotton? Where do I keep the cotton? Do I keep it here? Well, we're doing well on cotton. <laughs> I know I'm growing it. It looks like we're going to have to go on a little bit of a cotton run. It's just I'll just double check. I'm just going to scratch my ear. Give me a second. Sorry. I'm not used to wearing a headset. I've not been, I've not been playing games recently. Um, okay. Yeah, so we just need to go and get some cotton. Now, we are growing cotton, but I don't think I've got that much. How many do I have? Yeah, so I've got eight cotton there. I'm just going to leave that there. Let's go on a cotton run then. It shouldn't take me too long to, gra to grab this much cotton, I don't think. As long as I can find it in the wild. I think probably it'll be up on top of that hill in the green area. So let's have a quick look over there. Um, and then once <laughs> all this work just to put down a bed. I've probably got so much more important that work to be doing. But you know, what can you do? It's good fun. Right, so where are we? There's some cotton here. I think probably. I'm just gonna run that zombie over. Um, I think probably what I'll do is I'll have to stash my bike somewhere where I can remember where it is. Next to my clay pit. And then what we can do is we can just. Why can't I pick my cotton up? Well, do. Um, I can't, just can't get that cotton for some reason. I'll just take a little bit of a mark here. Nope, like that, so I know where my bike is. And then we'll we'll do a nice little march around because you know, 40 cotton shouldn't take too long to pick up as long as we can pick it, cotton up. There's one, two. We could probably pick up some chrysanthemums on the way as well because we need chrysanthemum. You can make a, a chrysanthemum water or something like that, or tea. Um, they're quite good for you. May as well pick some of this stuff up as well. But let's not fixate on picking up. Why? Why is there more chrysanthemums than cotton? There's another one over here. There's some cotton over here, so I'll, I'll head on over this way. As I say, it shouldn't really take too long to get uh, to to, um, to get a forty cotton. How many? How many? How's that? Seven. So we're doing okay. And I'm glad I put that marker down on the map. Otherwise, I will have lost my bike. I would or would have lost my bike. It's probably better. A better English to say that. Uh, red chrysanthemums. Chrysanthemums. There's a bit of potassium up there as well, so I'll, go, I'll grab that when I'm here. Get a pick. There you go. Potassium, please. Why, thank you. Okay. We'll keep going. Uh, bird's nest. We'll see, we, see if we can get eggs as well. May as well do a nature um, gathering episode. Why not? Now I suppose this is another reason why I probably should concentrate a little bit more on my farming. Because <coughs> if I'd, you know, if I'd planted my cotton like I've been planting my corn, 
then we wouldn't really have to be doing this. Now, and the, probably the reason I didn't plant my cotton like I was planting my corn and my potatoes is that we never really use cotton that much. You know, since, uh, after you make the um, the mini bike seat, which is the only thing I really ever use cotton for, um, you get enough cloth. You've seen all the bundles of cloth I make that I got from like, scrapping cars and such. So I get enough cloth from doing that. So I don't really need to fold it down by making using cotton. Um, so I, you don't really use cotton very much. So I, that's probably why I was neglecting. But perhaps that was a mistake. Let's just keep going here. Get my sledgehammer going because I can hear some zombies going around. I wouldn't mind to fa finding a little bit more cotton <laughs> rather than chrysanthemum. So here's a couple of bits over here. Um, more of it. How many have I got now? 20, so we're... We are halfway there. I can hear a couple of zombies as a nurse. Hello. Uh, hello, nurse. Blood pack. Yeah, I'll, I'll take those blood packs, because I have been making... Um, the blood packs are one of the components of making health packs. So I have made them in the past, so it's maybe worth me just... Um, seeing what, what actual um, ingredients I've got and, and doing a little bit of management that way as well because I have noticed every time I go into my um, my medical box it's not very well organised because I've just kind of been lazy with it. Is that... there's a nest and some potassium over there. Why am I having so many issues with... I thought I saw some potassium over here. There you go. Yeah, so my medical box isn't very well organised because I'm mean, quite lazy with it. And it's also very, very full. So I could probably empty out some of the bits from it just by creating, um, you know, like repair kits or health packs or whatever I necessarily need to to um, combine the equipment down. Maybe even some antibiotics with the... Um, I mean, the sham sandwiches. I don't think I've actually found a use for them yet. I've, I've, I think I've got... Something like three or four bundles, maybe two, maybe three bundles of, of 50. And I know I can make glue with the bones, so I might do that at some point. But what do you make with the sandwiches? Anybody listening wants to put in the comments? Ah, oh, here's a load of corn. Excellent. A corn. Corn. Um, so we'll just, I think we'll probably f we'll we'll probably have collected our forty when we finish here. Yeah. B, back off, Buster. And you, back off. Got the sledgehammer. Should probably be using the bat actually, since I, I made that the other day. Right, we'll use the bat from that one. Just as a um, just as a variation of fun. Right, okay. I'll empty this area. Hello. The only problem with the bat is I'm never sure. Oh, that's the first time I smashed someone's head off with a bat. I was going to say I'm never sure what the actual um, hit radius is, so I think I sometimes get a little bit too close with it. That's a little bit more cotton in here. I'm hoping it grows back. <laughs> I've just dropped a whole area of cotton. I suppose it doesn't really matter. I can, I can actually. I'll probably what I'll do after this, on the next um, after the next horde night, when I'm doing my farming, I'll probably um, farm and replant the cotton, so that we've we've slowly but steadily got an, uh, an increasing amount that like we have with the potatoes and the corn. Um, I haven't really touched the goldenrod stuff either as well, so I might do some of the stuff with that just in case I need some. Hello. Oh goodness. <laughs> yeah, I'm so bad with the um the distance. How much have I got now? 65 cotton! Way! Alright, so let's take a couple more. I'll go and get these three chrysanthemums. One, two, three, okay, four. I was wrong, four. And then that's us. And I'll swipe by any cotton if I pass some up. You know, if I pass cotton, I'll pick it up. I'm not going to go out my way now, I've got enough. I will go out my way for this guy, though. <laughs> yeah, just try it. <laughs> oh, I might as well take that. I don't know why. I don't know why I take all these things. You know what I mean? It's it's like 
I've got an obsession with hoarding. I don't I don't necessarily need to take that stuff. I never use it. Ever. I just pick it up because it's on the zombie. Right, okay. We'll keep going. Is that some more? Oh, I thought that was potassium. White bag. We may as well collect the resources when we're passing them. Especially if it's stuff like potassium or coal. Always very, very handy. There's another massive amount of corn. Uh, corn. I keep saying corn. It's obviously cotton. You thicko. It has been a while since I played the game or done any type of commentary at all. So my brains were not working the way it should. Alright, okay, so. Back on the mini bike. No! Oh, come on. <laughs> oh, well done, you idiot. Fine, you know what? And rather than doing something sensible, I'll do this instead. Uh, no, it's not a constant, I'm just a wood frame round for what four of them I should do. Yeah. Brilliant, well done. You're, you're very clever. You're very good at the game, obviously. You know, how many hours have I played this and I can't do something like this correct? Alright, so. That goes there. I'll need a frame underneath it. Yep. It's just like building a bridge. Done plenty of that in this game, haven't we? One. I don't need to put two down here. In fact, that's probably going to be enough, isn't it? If I can just square that off. In fact, we'll, we'll go up anyway. Just to make 100% sure. Spin it around. And put that there. And then just for completeness of the materials we've just created. There you go. And this, this obviously is gonna go down really well, isn't it? I mean we're not gonna fall off this and have it and, <laughs> and cause ourselves any issue at all. Um three, and we're up with a wheelie. Okay. Okay, so it's now time to go and make our bed. Can't wait, I'm so tired. I just want to get into it and just relax. Just gonna move my mic a bit closer to my mouth. Now I wonder how long this the actual look at that tower. It looks just looks really cool. We probably are gonna have to start thinking about furnishing that tower as well, which means heading into town and robbing a whole load of um, materials from the posh houses. You know, like the pictures and the, um, the couches and all the rest of it. Right, so there's a bed. Craft. 30 seconds! Hey, that's not so bad. While that's doing that, I'll just put my other um, inventory away. So we've got some extra coal, extra potassium. Mm, nothing else there, is there? There's wood. Put some wood in there. I can't believe we've only got two eggs. Uh, into the medical box. Look at I me. Mean, look how many painkillers we've got, and blood back and blood packs. We really need to start using them. Um, that can go in there. The cotton and the chrysanthemums go in there. Generally, they can go in there. Oh, I forgot. How many eggs have I got? I can't believe I haven't got any eggs. Eggs we use for blueberry pies, so that's why we're collecting them. And this should be finished now. Hooray, hey, hooray, hey. Right, okay, so. Have I switched the light off? Yeah. So this is going to be the last thing we do today. We're going to head down. I still need to as well tidy this place up, because it's not really how I want it. It's a bit shoddy looking. Uh, this is quite cool though, obviously. This is still one of my favourite areas. Um, I might as well... Uh, uh, oh, there's a zombie. I might also, I was going to say, build a couple of shafts off this way. Um, because I'm down the bottom, I've been hacking away for resources, I'm not collecting many. But as you can see here, these walls are rife with resources, so this might be a good height to start mining from again. 
Uh, I'll do that off camera, obviously, so you guys don't get bored. Here we go. Can't see where that zombie is. So here we go, uh, bedtime then. Spin that around. Can I put it against the wall or... Can I put it against the bedside table as well? Where do I where where do I want this? One here. <laughs> Fantastic. So we're getting on. So what I might have to do as well, I might have to make a couch. Can you make couches? I'm sure you can. Miscellaneous. Need a toilet as well. On a and a and a desk. King size bed, iron table. Oh here we go, leather couch. Leather couch arm corner. Where's the middle? It's a bit weird. What does it actually take? Nails! You need nails! Nails, leather and wood. Yeah. Lots to think about. Anyway, I'm going to call this a day. So I'm going to thank you very much for watching. Um, thank you for sticking around if you did since uh, after my little break. It's much appreciated. And um, you know, if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. I release a video like this every single day. Kind of unless I take a holiday and um, it's generally seven days to die I'm going to try and introduce some more interesting games onto the channel as well at some point um, Horizon Zero Dawn didn't really seem to go down that well um, I don't think it's really a game that I can stream or sorry, um, upload successfully so I kind of bagged it but anyway, thank you very much for watching and I'll speak to you all very soon Okay, take care, bye now